Welcome back to Logic 101. I'm William Spaniel. This lecture is on the negation operation, the simplest of the logical operators that we have. Negation is just taking the opposite. So, for example, if we have a simple sentence that says, I am thirsty, and we represent it with a T, then we put a tilde in front of the T, we say that not T, to represent the opposite of that statement. I am not thirsty. Not T. And what negation does is, as I said, essentially takes the opposite of whatever that simple sentence is in terms of the truth value of that sentence. So the negation of a simple sentence is true when the simple sentence is false, and false when the simple sentence is true. When it is true that I am thirsty, it is false that I am not thirsty. And when it is false that I am thirsty, it is true that I am not thirsty. Very easy, very straightforward. And moreover, it's easy to find these sorts of negations in simple sentences, or what would be otherwise simple sentences. So for example, Chrono Trigger is not a bad video game. Russia is not visible from Alaska. Africa is not a country. It is not the case that this lecture series sucks. At least it's hopefully not the case that this lecture series sucks. In each of those four examples, we see a big fat not, and that not is pointing out the fact that we're negating the simple sentence. So for the first one, Chrono Trigger is a bad video game. That's the simple sentence. Russia is visible from Alaska. Africa is a country. This lecture series sucks. Each of those is the simple sentence. The not is taking the opposite truth value of that simple sentence. This is in contrast to some of the other logical operators that we're going to be looking at, which can sometimes be a little bit trickier in finding. The negation's much easier to find. We represent these with the tilde, I said that at the top of this lecture. However, as I said before, I want to point out where other professors and other textbooks might be doing things differently. So others will use a like a subtraction sign in front of the simple sentence representation letter. Others will put a bar above the letter. Some will use this really weird line with a thing drooping down at a right angle in front of the letter. We would say each of these is not T, not T, not T, not T. All of those is not T, but Again, puns, not T, it sounds like naughty. I need to stop doing this with not C and not T. I need to come up with different letters. Anyway, uh, so I, the reason I'm using tilde is because tildes are pretty and nice to use. You could also use the subtraction sign. That's pretty easy to find on a keyboard. I am definitely not using the bar over the T. I have no idea why people would do that. I ha couldn't even figure out a way to do that uh, with the font style. I'm using PowerPoint. I had to actually manually draw a line over the T, so I'm not using it for that reason. And it took me like five minutes to find that weird thing with the right angle, so we're not using that either. Tilde is very easy to find on a keyboard. We're going to use tildes. Now, someone asked me a couple of lectures ago, why do we differentiate negations from non-negated simple sentences? Why don't we just say, I am not thirsty is its own simple sentence, and I am thirsty is its own simple sentence. For example, here, we could use P as being equal to Africa as a country, and Q as being equal to Africa as not a country. This is not the convention that we're using, right? We would, instead of using Q here, use not P. But someone was asking me, why don't we just do it this way? Well, the simple answer is that, oops, skipping ahead there. The simple answer is that if you think about this in comparison to algebra, would you ever use the variable y to represent negative x instead of just using x and putting a negative sign in front of it? And the answer is, of course you wouldn't. That would be inefficient, right? Why would you want to introduce an extra variable into your already perhaps complicated equation when you could just take a negative value and throw it in front of an x and not introduce that extra variable? It's the same logic here. When you see P and not P, you know that's very obviously a contradiction. If you have P and Q, how do you really know that that's a contradiction? Well, you have to refer back to the fact that Q, Q is the negation of whatever that simple sentence that P represented. In the case before, it was, uh, what was it? It was, it was Africa being a country, right? If you remember that Q is equal to Africa is not a country, and you remember that P is equal to Africa is a country, then you know that that's a negation. But that's much more complicated than just saying P and not P. You have P and not P, you know P is the same simple sentence, so you see an obvious contradiction. And referring back to algebra again, 
In algebra, if you see x plus negative x, you know that that cancels out and is equal to zero. If you see x plus y, well, what do you know about that? You have to remember the fact that y is equal to negative x to get the fact that that is equal to zero, but that's an extra step and that's an unnecessary extra step. So for the same reason, we wanna keep things as simple as possible. And the way we can make things as simple as possible is to reduce the number of simple sentences that we're working with to the bare minimum and use logical operations wherever possible. So P and not P, much easier to work with than having an extra thing for Q or an extra simple sentence representing the negation of P. Much more complicated, we don't wanna do it that way. We're gonna use the simple way, and the simple way is to reduce the number of simple sentences. So that is negation. Negation is much more straightforward than any of the other logical operators that we're going to be talking about. And when we start getting into the next logical operator, we'll see how negations can interact with other logical operators and we can get really complex and compound expressions out of that. So that's negation, and I'll see you next time when we go into another logical operation. Take care.